Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about a product I recently stumbled across. Now, this isn't a paid product endorsement or anything like that. I was reading Matt Kleskowski's blog and he mentioned this thing on his blog. And I was so intrigued by it, I went and purchased my own from B&H Photo. And what it is, it's a zoom quick release adapter. It's for a filter. Now, I don't use a lot of different filters, but one filter I do use quite often is a 10-stop ND filter. And the issue you have with the 10-stop filter is that it's so dark that usually your camera won't be able to focus when you have this on the lens. Now there are some situations if the scene's bright enough and you use live view on the camera, you might be able to focus, but most often you can't focus when this is on. So what you need to do is you put your camera on a tripod, you compose the scene, you focus. Once you achieve focus, you put the lens in manual so you're, it's not going to change focus anymore. Then you get an exposure reading. You take that exposure reading and you put it in a smartphone app and you tell the smartphone app that you're using a 10-stop filter. The smartphone app will return to you the, the exposure need, you need to use when you use this filter. Put your camera in, in uh, manual mode and you dial in those settings. And then you take this filter and you screw it on the lens. Then you take the picture. And when you screw this on the lens, you've got to be careful that you're not messing around with zoom or messing up focus or you're pushing the camera around so you're recomposing the scene. You just have to be very careful. Now once you take that first picture, let's say you want to recompose or, or go down and take a different type of shot, you're going to have to pull this off, put the lens back in autofocus mode, and then you're going to have to do all those steps again. And it could be quite cumbersome to do that, especially if it's cold out, windy out, to keep screwing this lens uh, filter on and then screwing it off. So that's where these quick release adapters really shine. Now, when you order them, they come in a kit. And the kit I bought came with one ring for a lens and two rings for two different filters. Now, what you would do is you take the ring for the lens and you got to make sure you get the right size for the size um, lens filters that your lens uses. This Nikon 24-70 f2.8 lens uses 77 millimeter filters. So I got a 77 millimeter adapter. And you screw the adapter on the lens. Easy for me to see. There we go. So you screw that on the lens. Then you take the other ring that's meant for the filter and you screw that on the filter. Then you go out, you compose a scene with the camera on a tripod, you uh, achieve focus, put the lens in manual mode, get uh, exposure reading, put those exposure readings into the smartphone app, put the camera in manual mode, put the new exposure readings in the camera, then you simply take this and you just place it on there and it magnetically stays on the lens. Then you want to recompose, just pull this off, recompose, refocus, do all that stuff and then just put that back on like that. It just makes it so much easier. Now, a couple things. They're not cheap. I think the set I bought, again, it came with one ring for one lens and two rings for two different filters. I think it was around $56. And the other thing is, because now it's making your filter a little thicker, if you're using a really wide angle lens, you might get some vignetting. So to me, I don't mind the vignetting. I, might, I could just crop it out. I could actually get rid of it usually one way or another in Photoshop or Lightroom. So I'm not worried about the vignetting. The easy use is really what sold me on it. And it, it really is a very firm connection. It's not going to fall off or anything like that. Very strong magnets. Now. There actually is one other issue that I found, and I'll share it with you now. Because it's magnetic, and a lot of times the better lenses are metal, this will stick quite heartily to the lens, and you'll be, oh no, you know, it's on there. And what I found is, is that if you, instead of grabbing it like this and trying to unscrew it, if you just grab the edge like that to get it started, and then you could take this off. And the same thing goes for the um, filter itself. Sometimes it's on there so tight, if you just take the edge, you could unscrew it um, relatively easy. So try that if they're sticking either on your filter or on the camera lens itself. But those three things aside, 
that is the problem with it sticking on the lens, um, the cost, and that it might vignette. I'm sold on the product. I think it it's really works great, and um, I wish I found them a long time ago. And I thank Matt Kleskowski for writing about that in his blog. Um, it's really a cool product. So that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys soon.